Hi, I'm John Smith. What you're about to experience are the almost limitless possibilities for digital media with Windows XP. Our scene opens on Andy, a high school teenager who knows what digital media can do for him. He's really tight. I think that's the word. Anyway, skateboarding videos are hugely popular, and Andy wants to try his hand at making his own. He's using a small digital video camera, and, well, now he's the director. What I want you to do is a heel flip into a 180. All right, man? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, are you done editing this yet? Almost. Don't rush me, man. Hey, what about music? Oh, trust me. We got the new cut. Let's put it as our soundtrack. Oh, let's check this out. We need some help in this. Now that Andy has the next Film Festival Award winner on his hands, it's time to share it with those people who really should see it. Uh, directors, producers, and his grandparents. Well, come on, we gotta bounce. Hang on, man. I want to email this to my grandpa. I'm trying to get him into technology. Ah. Music. One of the world's universal languages. We're going to show you how you can make music an integrated part of your computing experience using Windows Media Player for Windows XP. Our example opens with Tracy and her sister Jennifer, modern teenagers full of zest and curiosity, and they happen to love music. <clears throat> music perhaps not to my taste, but then it takes all kinds. What are you doing? Nothing. I didn't hurt your stuff. Whatever. Guess what? I got the new scapegoat wax CD. Get out of here. Nope, I picked it up on my way home from school. It absolutely rocks. I gotta rip this to my PC. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna work on my playlist while it's ripping. What's a playlist? It's like a custom mix of all your favorite songs. You can even make a CD with songs from different artists. Really? See, I'm gonna add a couple of the songs from my new CD. I can just drag and drop the cuts I want onto my playlist and we're set. So who taught you all this stuff? Our big brother, the techno skater geek. Andy? No way. Yep, and he showed me how to burn my playlist onto a CD so I can listen to my mix in the car. Sweet! And then I'm going to download the same playlist onto my portable so I can take it anywhere. That's so cool. I want one. First you need to get a job. Shut up. Whatever. And Tracy and Jennifer lived happily ever after. Now if only they'd listen to some real music. Uh, Beethoven comes to mind. Greeks concerto in A minor, Schumann's concerto in B, Handel's water. They say a picture is like a thousand words. How true that is. Let's meet Joan, a connected mom who also happens to be a keen businesswoman. She's using the features in Windows XP to build her family tree on the web. Hey mom, what you doing? Oh hi Trace, I'm just working on a tree. A tree? Family tree. I'm downloading the digital pictures from last weekend's family gathering so I can add it to the website we started in the MSN community. Cool, so we can email pictures to family and friends and stuff, right? Yep. In fact, I was thinking of sending a couple of these to your dad so he can have them on his laptop. We'll just attach the picture files to the email and send it off. Awesome. How about prints? Easy. There's a printing wizard that gives me the option to have professional prints made and sent to us in the mail. Or there's a print template for local printing that allows me to print pictures in any of the standard formats. I love this feature. All right, Mom. What picture did you use of me for the family tree? Can I see? Sure, I used the one of you from last year at school. You're so cute. Oh, uh, Mom, you can't use that. I look all frumpled up and stuff. So there you have it. Working with digital media with Windows XP. Fast, simple, easy, and it has the capability to change your life. Maybe I should change mine. I could uh, become a tight skater, or, or maybe I could learn to love hip-hop, or, or I could become a wedding...